Hi, I'm Dr. Carrie Roberts with Erosity, and today we're going to talk about sciatica. All of the information that we're going to cover today is included in our free monthly webinar series. To learn more about that, click the link in the description below. Come on, let's get started. Here are five interesting facts about sciatica. The sciatic nerve is the longest and largest nerve in the body. Sciatica typically affects approximately 3 million people per year. It is generally experienced on one side, but in rare instances can occur on both sides. Sciatica is very common in pregnancy, especially in the third trimester, due to the growing size of the baby, the baby's position, and changes in the pelvis. But outside of pregnancy, sciatica affects men and women equally, but typically occurs in people that are 40 years of age or older. Here's some misconceptions about sciatica. People tend to think if they have pain in their back, pain in the hip, pain into the thigh, or numbness and tingling anywhere into the thigh, they must have sciatica. But there are a number of different causes that can create similar type symptoms. People also tend to think that I need to stop all activity if I have sciatic type pain, and that may not be true. Also, on the flip side, people tend to think I need to stretch my leg to resolve the symptoms, but in some cases that can actually increase irritation, which is why it's important to have a proper evaluation to determine the best course of action. So what is sciatica? Sciatica is characterized by pain, sometimes numbness and tingling, or even weakness that begins in the hip and travels down the back of the leg. The sciatic nerve starts as a bundle of nerves in the low back that come together to form the nerve, which exits the pelvis through the piriformis region and travels down the back of the thigh. The most common cause of sciatica comes from inflammation. When we lose mobility, sometimes weakness, the nerve can become irritated through tightness, tension, causing the inflammation. There are other causes, however. Disc issues such as herniations, disc bulges, or even tears can sometimes cause sciatica, or changes as we age, including spinal stenosis, which means narrowing of the spinal canal, or even bone spurs on the vertebrae. I hope this information has been helpful to you. For more information, please join one of our free monthly webinars where every single month we cover a different injury, we provide rehab exercises, and where you can ask questions specific to your concern. To learn more, check out the link below. See you next time.